Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do a battle of the press on nails. So we're gonna be comparing three different brands that are super popular, which is Glamnetic, Kiss Nails, and Static Nails. Today I actually have the Static Nails ones on. So we're gonna go over the pros, the cons, and then like six different categories, quality, the lasting power, like the wear time and the glue, design and selection that they have available, of course, cost, application, so ease of use, sizing, and then of course, removal. I'm gonna start this video off by saying that I wear all three different brands. I love all three different brands, but of course there's always pros and cons. So let's start off with the Kiss. And just so you know, I have quite a bit of nails here. So these are all of my nails. These are all of the leftover, like the ones that didn't fit me. And then I have tons and tons of boxes of nails in here. I change mine out like every couple of weeks. I do not go to the salon. I am 100% a press on nail girl. So let's get into it. So Kiss, they definitely have the most variety. They have a lot of different options to choose from. I like the Classy Nails or the Velour Fantasy, and then they have the Impress. I don't recommend those at all. I don't like the tabs, they don't work for me. I also really like all of the Vogue-ish Fantasy ones. So they definitely have a wide range to choose from. My favorite is to order off of their site. They always have sales and I find it to be the easiest. They have a very wide selection there. Of course, you can get them at Ulta, Target, probably Walmart, Amazon, you name it. For the largest selection, definitely the website is the place to go. These are definitely the most flimsy of all of the nails that I'm gonna talk about here today. So I'm gonna put it up to the mic cause you probably won't be able to see it here. I might have to do an insert of a picture, but they're the thinnest. I find that they lay really nice on the nail, but when you go and put the glue on, if you don't do it perfect, and I have application videos and so forth, so I'll either put it up in the cards or I'll insert a clip of it here. It does bubble and I find that these are the flimsiest. So you can like listen, like they're just kind of like flimsy. Let me tap it on something. Now, if you compare it to like, they're just not as sturdy. The material isn't as robust and thick. Not that they're not a good nail. I love the French tip. I think that they look so nice. My favorite length is the medium and the short. So let's talk about the lasting power, the glue and the wear time. The glue is okay. There's other glues that you can get that are better on Amazon. I'll link to them down below that are gonna last a lot longer. They do sell a nail remover that works pretty good. I do like with the Kiss that you're gonna get the Kiss nail glue. You're gonna get a little IPA wipe to clean the nail and remove all the oil. You're gonna get a little wooden cuticle stick and you're gonna get a little nail file. They last on me typically about a week up to like 10 days. You can get them to last for two weeks for sure if you're careful but they're just a little bit more flimsy. And like I said, they're not as sturdy and heavy duty as the Glamnetic and the Static Nails. So let's talk about designs. They have so many different designs. They have short, medium, long. They have round, coffin, almond. They have all of the different nail shapes that you would be looking for. So they definitely have a wide variety to choose from. I just find with their designs, so like their nails that have actual designs on them, I don't find them to be like hand painted, like the static ones. These look like they are hand painted as far as the design. The Kiss ones, they look like it's like a digital print, if that makes sense. So it's like a lot of pixels and sometimes it doesn't look as seamless, but the gel ones that they offer, those are a little bit more heavy duty. They look a little bit more realistic. So the price for the Kiss ones range anywhere from, I've seen them at like $7.99, up to very few styles at like $14.99, but the majority I see like $9.99. So as far as application and ease of use, they are easy to use. They come with numbers. So at the edge of each nail, there's a little tab and it has the number. So what I like to do is I line them up and I match up each number to a specific nail. And then you have to go and find the number on another nail. And if you can't see good, it is difficult to find those numbers and match them up. I find it to be rather time consuming. I don't love that model. We'll talk about static nails in a second. I love their model the best. With the Kiss ones, there is a very large size range. So you're gonna find something, whether you have a bigger nail or a very small nail, you're gonna find one that matches you. And I can typically get two sets out of the Kiss. 
So for example, I can make like a three and a two both work on my thumbnail so that I'll be able to get two different sets out of them. Are they reusable? Like, could you wear them again after you were done? No, they're not. I find that they get beat up. They tend to look like flimsy towards the end, especially when you're taking them off. I find that the kiss ones tend to crack around the cuticle as opposed to the other ones that don't do that. Again, they're a lot sturdier. The material, it's a lot thicker. As far as removal goes, they're all about the same. You can soak them. I like to soak them in like hot soapy water and then get in with like a nail glue remover and you just kind of take the stick. I'll take the little wedge stick here and I'll just kind of pop under the nail, get a little bit of the nail removal glue underneath and it just loosens the glue and the nail does come off. Next up, let's talk about Glamnetic. These are probably my favorite just because I use them the most. These are a couple of the new colors that I just got, really, really pretty, and I will put them down below if you wanna check them out. So let's talk about the quality. I think that the quality of Glamnetic nails are excellent. The material is very hard and it's definitely more of a rounded nail. So you do need a little bit more nail glue in order to get it to adhere to the nail without any bubbling, like especially under your thumbnail. And I find that the edge of it is a little bit more square in comparison to the Kiss and the Static nails that are a little bit more rounded. So depending on how your nail beds are and up by your cuticle, if it's like more square or more rounded, will determine like which nail is gonna fit you the best. So Glamnetic does have a bunch of different sizes, just like the Kiss ones. The numbers are towards the end of the nail, the tip, and I find them very difficult to see. Sometimes I have to take a magnifying glass and my flashlight to see them. So I feel like they could improve on that. It would be a little bit easier for people that can't see as well. I actually just did a review on Glamnetic and a demo. So I'll put it up above in the cards if you wanna take a look at it. I go way more into detail and we do like a full application. So the quality is top notch. Lasting power and wear time, glue. I think that the glue is great. I can get mine to last for up to two weeks, no problem. And if they do pop off, it's not gonna get all janky. So you could just put, you know, if you pop your thumb off or something, you can just put it back on with the glue and you wouldn't know. Where I feel like with the Kiss ones, if one were to come off, it would look beat up and you would need to get a new one. As far as design goes, they do have a bunch of different designs. I find that they have more solid colors with like chrome like this kind of thing, as opposed to design designs, but they do have a wide range to choose from and they're always getting new drops and new launches. And I like that they sell them in bundles. So you can get like a bundle of six and save some money. The prices are definitely on the higher end of a press on nail. So between like 15 and $20. And they say that you can get two uses out of them. I don't like to do that. I find that they're gross after two weeks. So I'm not gonna go and stick it back on. Plus the nail itself doesn't look great after a couple of weeks. That's just my opinion, depending on how hard you are on them. And I also find that they're sizing. I can't find like two different numbers that work on each finger the way I can with Kiss. So with the box of Kiss, I can get two wears. With this one, I can really only get one because certain nails, I don't know if it's like my pinky or, or what, it doesn't really matter, but I can't make more than one option work. It's like that number works and that's it. So application and ease of use is definitely very similar to the kiss because you're lining up the numbers. So you're gonna have to map out which number for which nail and kind of lay it all out. That's the easiest way to do it, I found. So it's not my favorite because then you have to go and find the other number that works. But I think that the more you do it, it's not that big of a deal. Removal is very similar to the kiss nails. You're just gonna soak them in the warm soapy water and then use a little nail glue remover and you can get them off. Again, just be careful not to rip them off. You don't wanna damage your nail bed. It's pretty straightforward. So the Glamnetic ones have all different lengths, all different styles. My favorite is called the Short Almond. It's a little bit shorter than these ones. I'll put up a couple screenshots. They also have a lot of short options. So if you want something really short, they have a lot of short rounded options or short square. So whatever you're looking for, they will have something. The Glamnetic are probably the most durable out of 
all of them. I think it would be like neck and neck with the static nails. It's maybe by a hair, like I'm talking a smidge. So I forgot to mention what comes in the box. Nail file, you get glue, you get a wooden cuticle stick and you get the alcohol. Packaging wise, I think I like the Glamnetic little box packaging the best cause it's just smaller. So let's move on to the third one. That's static nails. I love these because it's so easy to just pop your nails on fast. They don't do the numbering system. They just have them all laid out largest to smallest and they have 12 different sizes. I think that the Kiss and the Glamnetic have like 13. I think they go zero to 13, both of them. It's about the same. The only thing with these, I find that, so the nails that would match my ring finger, pointer finger, they have quite a bit. They have like four different sizes that would all work for those nails. But the pinky one, which this is really strange, I'm in the smallest on the pinky. Like I could make the second from the smallest work, but it's definitely a lot bigger. Like you can see my pinkies here. And I know that I don't have the smallest pinky fingers out there. Like I do have longer, skinnier fingers, but I feel like there's definitely people out there that have smaller pinky fingers than I do. So that was that's the only thing that I thought was kind of strange where with the Kiss and the Glamnetic, there's like two other sizes that don't even come close to fitting my pinky now. And then their biggest thumb is way too big for me and that's pretty standard with the Kiss and the Glamnetic. Like their first two sizes are way too big for my thumb. It could fit on like a toenail if that's what you're into, if you wanna put them on your toenails. All right, so let's start from the top. So quality is fantastic. It's right in line with Glamnetic. I think that it's top quality. They have a lot to choose from. They are very, like solid, sturdy nails. They look really natural. They look like you went to the salon and you got them done. It's top quality. So like you're getting what you're paying for with these higher end nails. So lasting power, wear time, and the glue. I think the glue is pretty okay. It's about the same as the Glamnetic. Again, there's other glue that I like better that you can get off of Amazon that lasts longer. I'll put it down below. These last on me up to two weeks, so very similar to the Glamnetic. And they have a ton of different designs. They have short, long, medium. They have coffin shape, round. They have like square edge. They have almond shape. Whatever you want, they have it. I also saw that they have a great selection just for like bridal nails. I don't know that they do a lot of the bundling like Glamnetic does. I think that you can get like maybe two. I could be wrong. I gotta go on the website and double check, but I do know that they have like a point system similar to the Glamnetic one that I talked about in my video. So if you sign up and you're a member, every time you order, you get like a certain amount of points and so forth. You can check that out on the website. So cost wise, they range between, I've seen the lowest be like 18 unless there's a sale up to 20, so it's definitely on the higher end of the price point. It says that you can get two wears out of them. Again, I'm not gonna be wearing them twice. I find that they do get dingy. I mean, you're wearing them for two weeks, you're gonna get food on them and all kinds of gross stuff. So I'm not a huge proponent of that. But if you're comfortable and you wanna do that, by all means, it says that you can, so totally do that. So as far as application and ease of use, I would rank these way at the top because they have the nails all in a line. So all you have to do is find which nail matches up with your nail. And then you just open it and they have another tray of a duplicate right underneath it. So you don't have to be trying to match up numbers and a bunch of loose nails. You just take your nail and right underneath it is the other one for the other hand. So I find that it's like one, two, three to put the nails on. It's very easy. I really like that. So in the package, you only get the nail glue and the file, which is a little bit different. They don't have a cuticle stick and there isn't an alcohol swab. For me, that's not a huge deal breaker. I just have a regular cuticle thing. I actually like to use cuticle scissors just after I push the cuticles back, I like to just snip them away and clean it up a little bit. Just because when I put the nail on, I wanna put it on my actual nail and I don't want the cuticle to be getting in the way. So another thing I wanna mention about the static nails is where the cuticle is at the top, it is a little bit more rounded. So if you're a little bit more rounded here and less square, you might like the way this slides on better. It may look a little bit more seamless and match up to your nail better. Removal is 
about the same. Again, you just do hot soapy water, do a little bit of the nail removal. Um, Kiss makes one. I think Glamnetic makes, they all make one. So you can even get like Sally Hansen, they have one. So again, just be gentle when you're taking them off. So I'm gonna link down below any nail videos that I've done in the description. So like demos, tutorials, anything. So if you wanna check it out and see more on a specific brand, I'm also gonna link below their websites and the membership or the partnership to sign up and then you get points and stuff towards getting money off of the nails. So I think it's worth giving all of these nails a test. See what you like best for you. I think that there's a place for all of them in your nail collection. I certainly use all three of them. There are ones that I like a little bit better, of course, for different reasons. So I hope that this video helped and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.